So my phone only allows me to take six minute long videos, but there's still so much more I would like to share. I don't know if you guys can tell what this is. It may look pretty strange, but it's a cotton plant and literally it's cotton. So too bad we can't use cotton for toilet paper. It's just too rough, the fibers are too strong, but makes really good for clothing. And what's neat is these ones have the seeds in them still. You'd have to go through them, but there's black seeds in them. You can grow those. Just wanna show you these raised garden beds over here. All the vegetables. I'm telling you, it looks like the freaking Home Depot or Lowe's out here. Pride of Madeira. Got some flats, that looks like. I always forget the name of that one. So it's some kind of bean or in the legume family. Green onions. Cilantro, parsley. Yeah, parsley, green onions. Cucumber. Lemongrass, mints, oregano. It looks like strawberries in the back over there. Thyme, sage, rosemary. Bunch of tomatoes, some peppers, squash. Look at that. This looks like the little nursery back here. But I wanted to show you guys, which I thought was really cool, were the avocado trees and the banana plants. So, some plants are you can grow from seed and they'll stay close or true to fruit, but then there's others. For example, like avocados, if you grow them from seed and passion fruit too, you either need to graft it or take cuttings. But with avocados, uh, it's I've I really haven't really heard of many people using cuttings for avocado trees. I've more heard of grafting, and it's just a method of propagation where you take a branch, take a branch of the avocado tree that you want, the hoss or bacon, fuerte, you name it, and you put it on a seedling. So look, we got more dragon fruit right here. That one right there. So I'm not sure what variety these avocado trees are, but it's just a magical time to be out here in the rain. Like we got sugar cane. If you guys need to make your own sugar at home, suck on a sweet stick. And look at these banana plants. This is pretty incredible. This is always the fun part. Feels like we're in the Amazon right now. And look at, you got more dragon fruit. And this is really cool. Dragon fruit is, uh, I believe in the, it's almost like a succulent of the uh, cactus family. And it'll, it'll, uh, it'll hang on, it's a climbing cactus, a vine, but they make these really neat aerial roots that they use to hold on to. It's like a snake. And they use it to hold on to other plants as they climb it, which I think is extremely neat. That was a cool idea. Whoever planted those ones there, right against the yucca, Gloriosa. Take another look at it. There's another one over there. And those things are amazing. The dragon fruit are amazing because they produce flowers at night. Oh my God, look at this. Only in California. Look at the weight of that. Wow. That's incredible. What a happy banana plantation right here. You got many different varieties too. The baby bananas. This seems like it's doing really good this year. The mulching has really helped. There's a very thick layer of mulch that'll keep in the moisture. Bananas love water. Bana water loving plant. Absolutely incredible. Let's go back to that cherimoya tree though. I wanna see if there's any fruit on it. Most fruit will be self-pollinated, but when I say uh, that you can hand pollinate, it's basically just supplemental assisting of the pollination of the fruit. But when it comes to cherimoyas, they do really much better when you hand pollinate because they're native to South America and here in California, the native insects or bugs, they don't pollinate it. So when you hand pollinate it, you get nice, big football sized fruit, get a good two pounder off one tree. That's what all the growers in Carpentry and Ventura do. 
I've, I've grown these from seed. Uh, I've seen them produce fruit. I actually have a few trees that I need to check up on in Santa Paula that I've grown from seed. I didn't ever had a chance to graft them, so I don't know what variety they'll be or how they'll turn out, but I've seen fruit on them. So I'll give you guys a, a video of that garden too, the Santa Paula garden. It's a beautiful community garden. I planted a bunch of passion vines there for the community, donated some dragon fruit plants so that they can all, so that they can enjoy uh, the blessings of an abundant garden. Back to the kaffir lime, or kaffir, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. Interesting fact, the rind of the fruit is amazing, super high in oils, and it just, it's such an amazing, look at this, when you squeeze it, you can literally see the burst of the oil coming out. The, the essence is beautiful and it smells amazing, the aroma, but the juice is terrible, very bitter.